What happened was that there was a tremendous pressure campaign by the Democrats to move Joe Biden out, uh, led by folks like Nancy Pelosi, certainly a lot of Barack Obama's allies were involved, and in particular also the donors to Democratic campaigns were saying, we're not writing any more checks while he's still running for president. So ultimately what happened, I think, is Joe Biden recognized that there was really no path for him uh, to continue to run an effective campaign and decided it would be best to get out of this race and to endorse his vice president, Kamala Harris. And that was also a, a, a decision that was not known as to whether they were going to go back and have a, a committee convention to elect their candidate or whether he was going to endorse the mm -hmm. vice president. Um, at this point, with the convention just days away, was this the only decision that was left? I think they still may have uh, an official quote unquote process, but I can't imagine that too many of the serious com potential competitors to Kamala Harris are actually going to get in this race. If you've seen what's happened just in the few hours since Joe Biden made his announcements, all kinds of Democrats have come forward and said, you know, they are endorsing Kamala Harris. There are still some holdouts out there saying we really need to look at the best candidate to win Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Virginia. But by and large, it's going to be very, very difficult to unseat her. And my thinking right now is that she really is going to be the Democratic nominee for president. So with J.D. Vance now picked for the reasons that we talked about last Monday, just being very appealing to those swing states, do you think um, Vice President Harris was going to do the same thing in, in her pick? And how is that going to even work? Did she choose her VP candidate, or would they choose one at the convention? Uh, she will choose the candidate and will be um, confirmed at the convention. So what's going to happen is that right now I think she's looking at some swing state governors as well or senators. So she's looking at, um, if you look at this, Governor Cooper in North Carolina. She's looking at Governor Shapiro in Pennsylvania, Senator uh, Kelly in Arizona and maybe Governor Bashir in uh, Kentucky, which is not a battleground state. But I think those three individuals from the battleground states are going to be at the top of the list as she thinks about what does she need to actually be competitive with Donald Trump come November. In Virginia, we're looking at polls that have, uh, in some areas, Biden leading or the former president, uh, the, or the, the decision, if this was mm -hmm. a few days ago, they had, Biden with a three-point lead, they had Trump with a three-point lead in other polls, and, and, and some are just a tie. Do, now that Biden is out of the race and the vice president is in his place, do you see those polling numbers changing in Virginia? Well, they might change slowly here. I think what you see here is this gives the Democrats an opportunity for a reset. And what we've seen in these polls is that of the people who haven't made up their minds, who, who haven't decided what they're going to do, a lot of those people seem to lean a little bit Democratic normally, and that might be good for the Democrats. But I think what we have to recognize is that Kamala Harris, while there's going to be a lot of energy behind her campaign, is also somebody who is not proven yet as a national campaigner. The first time she ran for president, it, it sort of petered out very, very quickly. So she's going to have both an opportunity and a little bit of a risk for the Democrats because we're going to have to see what kind of campaigner she is. But certainly I think the Democrats in Virginia are probably by and large happy to have her on the ticket because they think it might energize uh, women voters, it might energize some of the young voters who look like they were going to sit this election out, and it might uh, energize by and large the Democrats who have been very, very reluctant to get involved in this race because of Joe Biden's age. One of the things that we've seen so far in this campaign is that the volunteers who are so important to these races, who do the phone banking, who you know, are out there knocking on doors, those volunteers numbers have gone way down precipitously around the country and the Democrats are hoping that the Harris campaign can re-energize those volunteers and get them out. Anything that you wanted to... No, I think that's good, Tracy. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, one other question. Okay. Do you think VP Harris, do you think she's ready to be the president? Well, I think she has to be ready right now. Um, and we're going to see that. That by and large, um, as I said, that... Let me try that again. We're going to see how, she, how well she does. 
We've seen her once before in 2020 in a national campaign, and it wasn't a very good look for her. But a lot of Democrats have been watching her for the last year. They're seeing her make the case for reproductive rights around the nation. They've been seeing her on the campaign trail, and they think that she can prosecute the case against Donald Trump right now far better than Joe Biden. And that's what's going to be so interesting because it's almost like a, a men versus woman campaign now in some ways. If you looked at the last day of the Trump campaign, it was kind of a Trump convention, kind of a bro fest out there. Uh, you know, Hulk Hogan and all of the, you know, Kid Rock and all of these folks. Kamala Harris's campaign is going to look very different and it's really going to be pressing the case that Donald Trump is not um, you can't trust him on reproductive rights because who he nominated to the Supreme Court. And they're going to be very blunt that Trump is somebody in these civil cases uh, was convicted of sexual assault in these civil cases. The Democrats are going to talk about that till the cows come home, I think, um, in this campaign.